Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, Buddy here is enjoying the lovely sunshine and he's lying on all my plants. <laughs> but that's okay. He really likes that spot, so I may take the plants out so he can have a nice soft pine needle bed to lie on because he likes to lie there when I'm in the orchid house. And Ruby there, she likes to come in the orchid house with me. So, anyway, back to business. Orchids. <laughs> Pleenies looking gorgeous. This is, I've had three now, so one's gone over, so I plucked the um, dead bloom off that one. And I've got the white one there and the white one there, so they're looking good. Anyway, reason for this uh, video is I had my Orchid Society meeting last night and I got myself a nice haul of orchids. Um, so let's have a look at them. So the first one is a stanopia and that's the uh, that's the one now it's not going in this pot i've just put it in this clay pot for stability um that's going in a basket because i've been told that that's the ones where the the blooms come out the side come out the bottom so it needs to go in a basket and it's got a lovely new shoot to come in there so so that's a nice one uh Next one is this one, which is apparently not so popular, the Alba one. Lelia and Seps, the Alba's not that popular anymore. So I got that one, and that one is going into that pot. And it's a nice looking plant, and it's got some nice, nice healthy roots come in there. So that one is going to go in that pot later. Uh, the one at the back that's going in this pot as well it's just stood in there for now but I've been after one of these for a little while Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance so I'm very pleased with that one and it's a lovely looking healthy plant nice flowering sized plant I'd say so hopefully that will bring me some blooms um, this Dendrobium which is very unstable I had to put it in this clay pot to stabilise it um, but I'll sort all that out with one of Rick's clips so it's all stood up, you know, upright better, stood up upright. But that's the uh, Dendrobin Nobili Cooksonii. So this is all from the um, orchid grower that I told you has been growing orchid for 50 years. So these are all his plants. I think he's gradually selling um, his plants off. And the, this one's in flower, so pretty flower, beautiful. So I'm pleased with that one. And last but not least, in the orchids, this little one here, which is a Mastervillia, I believe, no, not Mastervillia, a Maxillara. Marginenta, Maxillara Marginenta. So, no, again, a lovely, beautiful, healthy looking plant. So, very happy with that one. And then my husband was out yesterday and um, he saw these lovely um, amaryllis bulbs. So, they're the new miniature variety. But it still says on the back, it still says they're going to get to 30 to 50 centimetres high. But that's okay. It looks like they could be planted outside, but I'm not going to plant them outside because I want them to survive over winter. So it's three bulbs in there for $15. So I've got the red and white, and then the plain red, and then these, which I'm really happy about. These are the, the white ones, and they're the double ones. So again, they are going to go in this pot. I'm going to put six in this pot here because I want them a nice, healthy, big, you know, full display, and only the three white ones in that pot. And then behind, we've managed to source these gorgeous New Guinea impatience, and they're just oh, they're lovely. So I'm going to be planting these up in um, in these pots. They're called Sonic Series with super large flowers. They were $5 each. I thought that was quite a good bargain because the, the flowers are beautiful. They're lovely and large. I mean, look how big that one is back there. 
and that one there has got beautiful markings and I think he got me a orange one somewhere here the orange one so yeah so I'm very happy about those so um, I've actually got some planted in the garden at the moment because these are quite happy they like a little bit of morning sun and then they're quite happy in shade um, as long as it's uh, reasonably moist I believe great for baskets part shade moist well-drained soil so that'll be perfect for in my woods so um, I think I planted about six or seven of them the other day but these I'm going to put in pots um, and try and you know keep them going in the shade out here for a bit of color because I don't have that much color at the moment I ain't got that many um, orchids in flower so talking of the orchids we'll have a look at what I have got in flower backlight's not too bad so I've got this gorgeous dendrobium here We've got our Orchid Society show next weekend, so I'm hoping to take one or two of these along to the show, and this will be one of them. Um, and that is a Dendrobium, I think I've shown it before, Guinea Allen Purple Star 2000 crossed with Den Louise Rainbow Large Red. I don't know where the reds come in because it's just purple and white, but that's okay. I've um, got another one there, which not it's not so impressive. Um, I was hoping to get this Oncidium along to the show, but I see some of the flowers are fading now. Um, it has been in flower for a long time, so I can't really complain. But, you know, I may take him along. I don't know. And this is the most impressive Dendrobium. It's got lots and lots of spikes on it. Um, and unfortunately, do I have a label? Yes, I do have a label. And that one's called Penny Rose, crossed with Blushing Rose, crossed with Louise, Louise's Rainbow. So I'm very happy with that one. That's a nice looking orchid there. And then this one, which I'm willing, willing to open. It's had these buds on it for absolutely ages and ages. And I'm really, really hoping that they're going to open in a week. They're almost there. If you look at that one, let's get it to focus. There, look, it's almost there, almost. And that one's just, just peeking open there. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that they'll, um, they'll open up for the show. Um, anything else to report? I don't think so. I did have a little. Um, I'm gonna find it now. Did have a little. Uh, sheath coming on one of these cattleyas here I can't find it now but it's on one of the um, smaller cattleyas but this one's coming on really well got a nice new growth there um, so I'm very pleased and I've planted one in the rock like Rick does so we'll see how well that one does so yeah so everything's looking good all the succulents are looking good let me see with the backlight. Whoops, I do tend to move this too fast. And there's my little friend Ruby. And as you can see, the other sunshy plants are over there. Oh, and the clavia's opening, which I'm really pleased about. See that? Clavia. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that flower stunning come on focus focus there you go beautiful and it's got a few more buds to open up so I'm really pleased with that one right so that's all to report thanks for watching please subscribe like or dislike and uh, I'll catch you later bye for now